The vision of the Order of the Daughters of the Holy Cross is to gather Anglican women and girls into a nurturing and empowering community called to be servants of Jesus as he unites and builds up his body, the church. We believe the company of like-minded sisters provides encouragement and accountability as each one strives to keep her vow. Being in community gives, us, gives many occasions where each one can deny herself and in humility consider the other better than herself and thereby grow in Christ-likeness. The relationship between a chapter of the Order of the Daughters of the Holy Cross and its clergy is one of mutual support as together they discover and accomplish the good works the Lord has prepared in advance for them to do. Will you, Father Dave, support the members of the order in their ministry and allow them to support you in yours? I will with God's help. As there are three or more women who have completed their period of study and discernment and have been admitted to the order, and there is a priest who also desires a chapter of the order in this place, a chapter now be formed. I present to you the charter of the His Daughters chapter of the Order of the Daughters of the Holy Cross. Please bless it and then formally proclaim the institution of the His Daughters chapter. Do we have that paper? Holy Father, you sent your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who stretched out his arms upon the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. Bless now this charter, symbolic of the His Daughters chapter of the Order of the Daughters of the Holy Cross, that all daughters in this chapter may dwell together in unity, grow in wisdom and grace, and do all such good works as you've prepared for them to walk in, that you may be glorified and your kingdom come. In accordance with this article, Three of the bylaws of the Order of the Daughters of the Holy Cross and by the grace of God, I now proclaim the His Daughters chapter of the Daughters of the Holy Cross to be duly instituted. To God alone be the glory. God's people say, Amen. Amen. Well, all members of the Order of of the Daughters of the Holy Cross and the candidates come forward. We have Tracy and we have Sally, right? Yes. Each member of the Order of the Daughters of the Holy Cross wears this cross, the symbol of the Order, before each one takes her vow and receives her cross. We ask you to bless it. Holy and gracious God, we ask you to bless each of these crosses that it may be an outward symbol to all who see it, that the one who wears it has dedicated her life to you. Every day as she puts on her cross, may each woman be reminded of your faithful care and provision for her as your daughter. We ask this through the mediation of your son who redeemed us by his sacrifice on the holy cross. We I do. present to you Sally and Tracy who have completed the period of study and discernment and desire to become members of the Order of the Daughters of the Holy Cross. Daughters, for three months you've studied, you've prayed, and you've searched the scriptures and your heart to confirm the call you received from Jesus to be admitted to this order dedicated to prayer, service, study, and evangelism. Do you believe that you have been so called? I do. Have you read and do you affirm the faith statement of the order? I have read and affirmed the faith statement. Tracy, will you live by the rule of the life of the order and willingly take the fourfold vow of prayer, service, study, and evangelism? Yes, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pledge faithful obedience to the rule of life of the order and solemnly do undertake the vow of prayer, service, study, and evangelism. Sally, will you live by the rule of the life of the order and willingly take the fourfold vow of prayer, service, study, and evangelism? Yes, by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
I pledge faithful obedience to the rule of life of the order and solemnly do undertake the vow of prayer, service, study, and evangelism. Each of these is yours. Receive and wear the cross of the order as an outward symbol of your vow. You guys want to put them on? As a member of the Order of the Daughters of the Holy Cross, will you do everything in your power to promote harmony and to further the mission and ministry of the Order? I will, with God's help. My sisters, prayer is the foundation of all God's work. As you enter the Order of the Daughters of the Holy Cross, I thank you for the difference your prayers will make to how that work is done in this part of His church. May you find joy and fulfillment as members of this order. May you be blessed as your life of prayer, service, study, and evangelism blesses those whom God places in your path. Now with your sister, join in prayer of this order. Everyone. O gracious and holy Father, that thy Son may be glorified, give thy daughters wisdom to perceive thee, intelligence to understand thee, diligence to seek thee, patience to wait for thee, eyes to behold thee, a heart to meditate upon thee, and a life to proclaim thee by the power of the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Will the congregation please recognize these new members of the Order of the Daughter of the Holy Cross. God bless you, brother. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Okay. The Lord would say, what do you want me to do for you? 